Hello out there, this is Mr. Brasala, and today we're continuing our discussion of uh, logic. We've been working with truth tables, so this is the next part of that discussion. Hopefully you had a chance to read in the book about truth tables and to watch the Pearson video. And we're working through homework problems and we're ready to do number eight. It's another truth table and when you print this out it just looks so messy with all those true falses because of the way it's a pull down menu. Let me go ahead and write this up on a sheet of paper and we'll do it like that. Let's see. We have P Q not P or not Q and not not P and not Q. So I'm just gonna write this up. And since it's just two variables, P and Q, there should be four lines. True, true, false, false, true, false, true, false. So here's all the possibilities. Now we work in the, pr ooh, I just noticed where I miscopied something. Did y'all see that? This should be a not right there. So uh, in what order are we going to go in when we're filling the stuff in? Okay, I think I'll label it up here. You work inside the parentheses first, so I'm going to do not P, then I'll do not Q, and then the OR, working inside the parentheses, and then I'll negate whatever I get there. So four. Come over here and work inside the parentheses. So five, six, seven. Then negate it. That's eight. And the last thing I'll do is this and. So work in the parentheses, negate it. Work in the parentheses, negate it. And then do the and. So that's nine. So starting off with not P. Well, if P is true, not P would be false. So if I just want to go straight down here and fill those in, or if you want to work straight across, but since that was so easy just to fill in right there. Not Q, let's go ahead and fill that in. Not true is false. Not false is true. Not true is false. Not false is true. Now let's do the OR. Remember from working with OR, the only time an OR statement is false is if they're both false. False or true is true. True or false is true. True, true, true. Okay. Now let's negate those. So I'm negating this OR here. Not false is true. Not true is false. Not true is false. Not true is false. Now, I'll come over here, work inside these parentheses, negate, and then I'll do the and. This column here, ooh, I've gotten sort of out of line there. This column here will be the last thing I do. So, uh, let's see. Let's go so fast, just go straight down. Let's go ahead and do that again. Not P, that would be the same as this column here. Not P is not true is false. Not true is false. Not false is true. Not false is true. 
Not Q is the same as this column here. Not true is false. Not false is true. Not true is false. Not false is true. Now for an AND, the only way an AND statement can be true is if both of them are true. Okay, a false and true is a false statement. False and false is false. False and true is false. True and false is false. True and true is true. And now we're going to negate it. So I'm negating this right there. Well, my writing's a little bigger than what I have there. But now I'm negating this and. Not false is true. Not false is true. Not false is true. Not true is false. And I'm now going to get my final answer, the and. I'll do that in blue ink, I think. So I'm looking at this and this. True and true is true. False and true, false. Remember with an and, the only way it's true is if they're both true. True and true, oops, true and false. I'm looking at the purple. Can y'all tell those colors? True and false is false. False and false is false. So we have true, false, false, false. Are there any questions there? Key, work inside the parentheses first. That's what I did. I worked inside here. I did all of this. One, two, three. Then I negated. Then I come over here, work in the parentheses. One, two, three. And then negate. And then I do the and. The thing I'm doing the and is, I've tried to color code it, stuff that has the and, true and true, 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 false and true, false, and so forth. Okay. It takes some practice, but I'm sure you can get good at it. Okay. Now, let's do some problems where we actually have uh, some words in it other than just P and Q. We're finding the says right the negation of the following statements. To do these we're going to be using De Morgan's law which says this not P and Q is equal to not P or not Q. For instance if if you're if you're going to uh, if you said uh, uh, I'm going to the movies and I'm going to H-E-B. The negation of that would be you, you didn't go to the movies or you didn't go to H-E-B. Similarly, if you had an or statement, uh, I'm going, if you make the statement, I'm going to the movies or I'm going to H-E-B. The negation of that would be you did not go to the movies and you didn't go to H-E-B. You didn't do either one of them. So that would be not P and not Q. Now when you do this with words and think, I think you'll figure out, okay, this is logical. It's not difficult at all. It says write the negation of the following statement. I'm going to San Diego or to Burlington. If we were going to negate that, then that would mean you didn't do either one of them. Which one of these would be the one saying, okay, you didn't do either one of those things. You didn't go to San Diego and you didn't go to Burlington. Let's see, which one says, is it D? I'm not going to San Diego and I'm not going to Burlington. See, you didn't do either one of them. Here's another one. Oh. Hmm. It says, write the negation of the following statement. And the statement is, 
I'm going to Jacksonville or Burlington. Hmm. Let me see. Did these regenerate? What was that other one? Um, oh, San Diego or Burlington. Okay, well. Okay, so if you're not going to... If you're going to negate, I'm going to St. Jacksonville or Burlington. That means you didn't go to either one of them. You didn't go to Jacksonville, and at the same time, you didn't go to Burlington. So which one has an and in it? Here's the ones that have and. Which one says not Jacksonville and not Burlington? That would be A. Now... Here, number 11, you'll get to practice your logic. You're given a table, and then you're given some statements, and you have to decide, are these statements true? We have two simple statements being put together to get a compound statement. So we have country A, B, C, D, E, and the number of films. This is the countries with the highest number of feature films. So... Statement says, country A produced more feature films than country C, and country B produced more feature films than D, country D. So, we're going to determine the truth value of each of these simple statements. Do you see there's two simple statements? They're connected by the and that gets them the compound statement, and then determine the truth value of the compound statement. So what is the truth value of the first simple statement? The first simple statement is this one, the one before the and. Country A produced more films than country C. Is that true or false? That is true. Now, what is the truth value of the second simple statement? Well, the second simple statement is the one after the and. Country B produced more feature films than country D. Is that another true one? Yeah. Now, for the compound statement, both of these are true. So, what will we say about this compound statement? It is certainly true. If one of those statements simple statements had been false, you would have had to say the compound statement is false. But since they're both true, true and true is true. So, I think that's it. That's the last problem on this assignment. So, uh, hopefully you have a chance to uh, work on uh, this stuff. And I'm going to go <coughs> uh, cough and uh, try to cure this cold of mine or make it better anyway so thank you for listening or watching and work on these truth tables it just takes a little bit of practice we had already done some of this in the first three videos okay here are the things you've got to know for p, if p not p would be the opposite for P and Q, the only way it's true is if both of them are true with an and. With an or, the only time it's false is if one of uh, both of them are false. Okay, so we we're done here. So thanks again. Bye bye.